Hi, I'm Ed LaFlon, head harvester from the East Coast. Head harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. Our tip this week is make your time count. Folks, we're all given the same quantity of time. And a lot of people get a lot more done than others. And they make their time count. So I want you to stop. Just stop right now and listen to Harvester Ed. Well, here's what I want you to do. Open your calendar up, or if you're using a manual calendar, look at that and look at the next two weeks. <clears throat> How much time do you have scheduled for the next two weeks? How many hours? Or what's the percentage of time you're spending that's scheduled for the next two weeks? Now listen, nine out of 10 of people I asked that question to have anywhere between zero and 10% of their time scheduled. I agree with that. I agree 10 with that. 10% max. <clears throat> yep. So if you're doing it, ask yourself, well, what have I scheduled? What is actually down here? Uh, the things that are scheduled, are they helping you accomplish your vision? Are they helping you accomplish the important things? I know that one of the things I do is schedule the important things first. And I do that one month out. Because if I don't do that, all the urgent things take over and I never get anything done. So that's really important. Uh, if you don't do that, it's kind of like you're just blindly meandering around the planet, as, as Harvester Bill would say. And, and what happens? All you do is the urgent things and you never get the important things done. And that just becomes one big excuse about how busy you are and you never have time for anything. So right? what's the number one thing we hear when we want to put a new process or program into a new company? I don't have time. I don't I'm have time. too busy. Too busy. So here's That's some right. time management tips. So like Ed was saying, get your goals. you got to know what your vision and what your goals are. And they have to be measurable and have to be timely. Okay. So know what your goals are. For example, uh, your safety. What's your safety goal, your company? What's your growth goal for your company? What do you want to grow in the next two, three years? What's your gross margin goals? What's your account receivable goals? What's your customer retention goals? Those are examples of good, solid, measurable goals. So get your goals up. That's number one. Number two, write down your to-do list. Everything you're going to do. And write how long it's going to take to do that thing. And if it's going to be a prioritization, high priority, mm -hmm. or is there a deadline to get it done? <clears throat> for example, your time cards have to be done by Friday. That's pretty important you don't pay the guys on time, mm -hmm. you could have a pretty difficult ch time to do your business, right? Mm -hmm. Which of these activities that you're gonna look at on your to-do list will get you somewhere? Which has the highest leverage to accomplish the goals? Always think about leverage and achieving the goals. Are there linkage to your goals? Now, I want you to go out and build your schedule with your to-do list with the priorities like you're saying, and Stephen Covey would say, you put the rocks in first to right. take up the space. Those important things. Important things, right? Mm -hmm. Non-urgent, important, quadrant two time management things, the solid rocks. Then all the other stuff, the, the sand, the pebbles, and the water can splash in between all that, but you've got the rocks solid in there, right? Now get to these tips, put them in your program, and make your time count. Now the biggest thing you're gonna have to learn how to do is pretty hard. It's a two letter word. Can you spell it with me? N-O, <laughs> learn how to say no delegate some of the stuff out. If you're doing something that somebody else can learn to do, you can train or delegate to, don't let that stop you. Delegate, train somebody else to do some of those things. This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed LaFlon from the East Coast. Now go out there and make your time count. Absolutely. What time is it? Uh, it's Did you get the report in for Friday? The uh, Friday no, videos? Not, not yet? yet, not yet. What's today? I'm Harvester a little Ed? behind, I'm a little behind. It's on my calendar, but I just haven't had a chance to get to it yet. A little behind. A little behind, yeah. You heard him say it. He's a little behind, all right. All right, we'll see I'm, you. I'm, I'm going to make your time it, count, will I you? I make it every week.